Train simulators are big and hard and kind of fun. <laughs> so today we're making a train game. I wanted to make something similar to Mini Metro and Papers, Please, but that wasn't going to be easy. You see, since we're making a simulation game, you can't just simulate a train and have the player collecting tickets. The player needs to have direct control. So the plan was to have the player on a desk with some train stuff, just like those other simulation games, and let them control the movement of the train. But instead of having a boring view of a straight line, you have a virtual straight line. Imagination. With the design out of the way, we can start development. And since the game will be mostly UI, the first thing I did was split the screen in half, placing chain controls at the bottom and train movement on the top. After that, I got to work on the inputs, and that was going to be easy for once. All we need is a lever, like the thing on the train, and a map to show the player where they're headed. The lever can be a simple progress bar, yes, like the ones from your installation software, but rotate it with mouse inputs so you can move it around. And there you have it, a lever. For the map, I went with a simple line and circle approach. Looks familiar? I also made the line dashed and gave it a little fade effect at higher speeds for that extra game juice. Putting the two together, we now have movement inputs and feedback to the player. But where is the player going? Whomst are they picking up? We need to add some meaning to the game. So I gave the station some names and I did it in the style of those old mechanical train station boards. But the game still lacks purpose. We have stations, a moving train, but why? Why drive a train? Is this some kind of trial or is it a puzzle? We don't know. So I figured we needed a way to tell the player if they landed on the station or passed by it. In a way, giving them a target to aim for. The best I could come up with is a stops ledger because who doesn't like a checklist? You land on a station, you get a and if you pass by a station or you miss it, you get a so far so good, but how does the player know at what speed they're going? You know, just so you could see that Honda VTEC train go and I did spend a fair bit of time on this, but it didn't feel great. I just went with the classic speedometer instead. Going back to purpose, I considered adding a radio. It's pretty straightforward, actually. You stop at a station correctly, guy tells you good job. You miss the station, the next guy will tell you... Dialogue was, unsurprisingly, the feature I played around with the most. After all, I already have two videos on this shit. I added styles, titles, a little blinker. And only after doing all this work, I realized, yeah, this game is kind of shit. So I decided to convert the whole game from 2D to 3D. Remember that lever from two minutes ago? Yeah, it's 3D now. Remember that map from two minutes ago? Yeah, it's still 2D on a 3D screen. Remember that? Yeah, the radio is gone. I completely gave up on it. That'll come in the future. I also added some sound effects, but this is not my strongest suit, as you probably know. Finally, I decided to upload a prototype to see if people would actually be interested. Go play it. 